Hello, YouTubers. I hope you enjoy about the show today. Today it's the dub. It's the North America WCQ for 2023. Last weekend on Monday. On um, for Monday. Yes, there was 3,003 players at this WCQ. Yes, there was a lot of players actually this time. I was double what in in America in Europe, but no surprise there. Um, this one is quite similar to last time, but there are some big differences. You will see. There's a bit of a surprise. Who's the best? Who is? It's still the same. Who's? And you bit. There's a bit. It's a bit standard this time, so a bit more less of a surprise who won. And so let's get to it. The top. The, the day one! So day one, there was 20% cash there, 601, yep. 210 branded, yep. 210 Labyrinth, yep. 210 Dragon Link, so all those were 210. 150 Frangrasol, 120 Sprot, um, Fondridge, yep. 3, 90 Sprite, 3. Sprite, Sprite, percent of 390, yep. uh, not, and with the Purio, so then another for higher Rudix, so and also Soul Soul. -so. And then there's one, 1,881 others, so the 81 others could be anything, I guess, so, which could be interesting. Cash is just standard, that's the one that wins the whole time, by the way. Just to spoil it now, it's the one that wins the whole time. And it's quite standard. There seems to be playing a lot less monsters and playing a lot more spells, even though Lathrin got them hit hit with spells, so interesting. Branding have changed quite a bit the last time you've seen them. So which is interesting. Um Lathrin's still the same. Draglink's quite a lot of changes and been some new support with, with Dragon Link with the new synchro stuff, so that'd be quite interesting. Frankrich is the new one this sort of category. I would say personally, we're doing quite well. It's, it's quite technical, and people still don't know how to play against the cards. Yeah. Um, Thunder is still the same old. Yep. The the builds are playing a lot less monsters now. They're playing a more, lot more of a toolbox sort of a idea. Rika is doing the same as usual. Yep. And Sprite, there's a lot of different Sprite variants, so I can't say too much. So. Uh, purely, it's quite a few different purely lists, so you will see later on. Same with the for hires, and then soul soul, they didn't do very well, and others you will see. Yep. In the top 64, there was 21 catch to you, 12 sprite. Now, listen how many different sprite parents there was. There was a for hire, full for hire Rudix, free, tip free, t evil twin sprite. One Rudik, one Gishki Sprite, one Sky Striker, and then one purely one, and then one Adventure Malfi one. Yeah, seven branded. <laughs> but you see how many Sprite variants there was. It was pretty much the whole time list was playing something different with with the Sprite with the with the Sprite engine. Yep, yeah. five purely. Yep, yeah. four Son Avalon. Yep. Yeah. Four uh, Dragon Links, yep. Two. Vanguish Soul, yep. Two Maladooms, yep. Technically, you could say three because they were super heavy Samurai Maladooms. Yep, so there was technically three of that, but. And then there was two Gold Pride, one Punk, one Pure, yep. Two. Rude to that front, yep. One tier and one heroes. Yep, so you as you can see, it's very diverse. Look how many different sprite variants there was. There was like seven different versions of sprites you could be playing. I can't imagine what that matchups were like. Yep. A branded still the same old. Now purely is quite different because there's quite a few different there was two builds of pu of purely uh, going around the moment, there is the pure one, or there's the sprite variant. So, which is the one I was quite interested in for a little bit, but it didn't seem to do so well for me. Um, Rika does the same as it always. Dragon Link, quite a lot has changed. Vanguard Soul, 
again, it's the same old. Gold Pro Prong's the new one, I would say, personally. It's got a few different ones, um, which is quite cool. One with Punk, one without, so there is a good option. Yep, um, Lathrin is still the same, not the great deck, yep, but it's gone down recently, so maybe people start to side against it and start to figure out how to play against the deck and stuff, which is quite interesting, yeah. Yeah. Super Heavy Samurai Maradome is quite interesting, because I haven't seen the two Maradome decks yet, well, I put, I'm starting to play Maradome actually, I'm playing for the OTS this weekend, so hopefully that'll do me well. And now with the Super Heavy Samurai, it lets me think I might try that version soon, yes. Um, Tia's quite interesting, because we haven't seen Tia very much for the last two months. For three months almost. Yeah, so we got a new tier we got the last two months, so this is with Shadows, which is quite this is post balance, so this would be quite interesting with a like. And Heroes with the new support is is very good, I'll tell you that. Top 32 was nine catch tier, four sprite, all of them are one, basically. Yeah, one for hire, one twin, one Rudik, and one Sky Striker. Yeah. Four purely, yep. Three branded, three dragon link, two. Song Avalon, two. Um, Lafrint, one super heavy samurai, Manado, one super, one punk, skull pride, one vanquish soul soul, one hero, one Manado. Yes, so again, it was very diverse, very. Interesting, all the spike variants finally went down and now there's only one each of each, yep. Purely now, the purely one's gone, so eventually people learn the purely one's much better. Yep, maybe class with the spike having time to do rank 2s and rank 1s, having loads of rank 2s and you try some level 1, maybe a clash. And drag linked quite a lot, it's different still, still the... And then, then, cash is still the same, it's quite interesting how... It's too still to Maladome list that everyone did in the pair for those. I think the Sky Strike one's the interesting one, and you will see later on what happens. Heroes is still doing quite well, which is quite interesting and quite weird in a way. Bank Souls doing quite well too. I think people still don't understand what the cards are doing, so which is quite cool and quite neat. Um, not too much has really changed, to be honest. So, so let's see. This is the top 16! Top 16 they were. Nine cash tier, so all of them got through still. Yeah, three dragon link, two sprite, one each, and one for hire, one Rudik. Yep, one purely, and one song Avalon. Yep, this is standard now. It's that all that diverse has gone down to four, to four decks. Yep, to four decks, two of them were different variants, so which is quite interesting. See, it comes finally a tier zero, but not for a long time. But it comes a little while, it takes a little while for it to be best deck, so which is quite cool. And then you can see in the future what will happen. Yep, and you can see Dragon Link's doing alright, but this this doesn't stay like that for the last time. Unfortunately, it, it does not, and you will see soon. It is just cash and one Dragon Link survive. And one purely. So it's basically mirror matches everywhere, everywhere almost, apart from two of them. Well, not mirror matches. So the mirror match went through all of them. And that's a shame because purely I thought it was going to be cute and win, still win without one of the cards made to flow and stuff like that, which is quite cool. Oh, and Dragon Link still doing the same, but it's quite interesting. There was loads of mirror matches, which is quite fun. We didn't get a chance to watch this, was not on stream, by the way, which is a shame. You get to watch it on Twitch, which is a bit of a shame, but hey, how these things happen. And then. Oh, t oh who won again? Jamie Michael for cash. He won. Overall. Yep. He won with with cash, yep, and it was a cash top four, yep, and the mirror match in the final, yep. And now the deck list, the deck list were there's the tears in the corner, yep, with Shadow engine, with a nice Shadow engine, yep. And then you got on the bubble was a Cyber Dragon got to day two, which is quite interesting. So he got quite far. We know a new Cyber Dragon get quite far, I guess. Now that gives you an idea of what Cyber Dragon looks like this season, finally. And then you have got Exorcist who won the W. 
TQ playoffs, which is quite cool. Again, they've done it again, but with much lower costs. So, yep. Then you have got the t uh, cash, pretty much looking the same as Genuine in the Corner. Not much has changed really with cash. Uh, then you've got the Sky Striker, t Sky Striker, um, Sprite list. Yes, this is quite interesting because he's playing two of the stri of a Sky Striker engine, and he's playing quite a few Sky Striker spells, which is quite cool. The Evil Twin Sprite. You can see how much mess that deck is and how tight the extra. Deck is. And there's the Son Avalon. There's a there's the Mount of Dome deck. This one's playing the Bestials and the new stuff from from Battle of Legend Monsters events and stuff, which is quite cool. Then you see the for, um. Stone Avalon Rika deck, it's pretty much down. This is a 60 card, which is a little bit more mad. Then you got some purely, purely, purely sprite. Yeah, that's what it's be looking like now. It looks what I expect them to look like, trying to match two decks together. Then you got the Gishki sprite, which is looking quite cool and quite unique. I was tempted to build this deck too, but I didn't get a chance to do it because because I can't find the fish card and stuff. Yeah. Then you got branded, pretty standard. Yep, not much has really changed apart from the new fusion. You don't play branded convulsion yet. Now, um, then we have got uh, heroes. Um, a lot has changed for heroes. It's still the same problem. That stretch extra decks tight, so they had to move a few stuff around, which is quite cool. And Vanguard Soul, which is looking nice, standard now. Yep, yep. And that that is what happened in WCQ this 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 last weekend. Now I hope you enjoy. Subscribe and watch all. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Skyrock. Yep, all those. Yep. Um, I was at the locals yesterday in Bedford. I didn't do so well. I got one win out of four, which is not great. Um, I've been there. Uh, OTS this next weekend, so wish me luck. Yep, wish me luck. The football season's not far away, oh, so, so wish me luck with the WCQ, with, with the o OTS next week. Yep, in Bedford, yep. Yep, and hopefully I'll do well, yep. Um, I'll be taking some information from the, from the MyCS this weekend. I have done my deck list, but I might have to make some choices, some changes too. Okay, I hope you enjoyed, but show today, subscribe and watch your peace, everyone. Good luck and do everyone. Wish me luck for the OTS next week. Yep. Yeah. Peace, everyone. Good luck and do everyone.